Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at Binance's decentralized NFT marketplace. Before we get into it, I want to say I'm not a big fan of the current state of the NFT space, where NFTs are bought and sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, I must admit, I'm not really a big fan of real life works of art being bought and sold for hundreds of thousands either. When it comes to art, I am a bit of a Philistine and that's how I like it. With that said, I'm sure many of you are not as uncultured as me and you would like to know more about Featured. So we'll look through the site and I'll demonstrate buying an NTF and then walk you through how to create one of your own. The first thing you need to do is connect your wallet as this is DeFi. You can see I've already done that here at the top right. This is the only way to sign in. Now, if you want to stay on Binance's main site, you'll need to wait for Binance to release its centralized marketplace, which I expect to happen any day now. But sticking with Featured, the main page is really just funneling you to two main areas. This link here will bring you to the exclusive um, items on the site, and this next one will bring you to their main marketplace. Down below, they show you what, um, what auctions are ending soon and what new items have been put up on the site. Now, let's take a look at that exclusive page first. Here, Binance have got artists to create uh, groups of images. And as you can see, they're pretty cool and actually really quite detailed. But here's where it gets weird, or maybe I'm just misunderstanding something. If we scroll down, we can find this here where it says that 15 editions of this image will be released on auction. Now, for me, the point of an NTF is to be unique. I want my NTF to represent the one and only copy of that artwork. But as I said, I may be misunderstanding the situation. But another point to point out on this page will be these two buy buttons here. They are selling tokens that will put you into a lottery that will win you one of those NTFs, one of those 15, or I think in this case it's 25 NTFs. This one might be just 10 NTFs. So you're not actually getting the artwork itself. You're just getting a chance to win one, which explains why you're only paying 0 0.25 BNB. But I think a lot of people will buy these thinking they are getting the actual piece of work. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to the more interesting part. Let's get to the open marketplace. Here you can find auctions and just straight up sales of NTFs. In a moment, we'll create an NTF and see how to get it up here. But first, let's go through the process of buying one. I'll sort by a price because I don't really want to spend much money on this demonstration. Okay, I need to edit out a little bit here because I've had a couple of problems. Um, some items that were here disappeared when I clicked through and tried to buy them. It no longer accepted my bid. Some prices have changed. It seems to be a problem with this page not necessarily updating fast enough for the other ones. In this case, let's go in and see, have a look at this yellow GIF. So here's another example. As we see from this page, it's there's a current bid, this is open, the auction is not, not sold. Um, and we go in here, it's already sold out. You know what, let me just go into one more. This person has, has put up a video of their burger wrapper and decided that that is, of course, worth money. Now, I must say I disagree with the fact that it's worth money. But let's go ahead and show you how to place a bid. I cannot bring myself to give this person money um, for a short video of their burger wrapper, but we will show you exactly what you would do. You go ahead, well, let me go back out. You can put it any price you want. Maybe you really want this item. Uh, let's go ahead and put in two BNB. <laughs> I, the person would be shocked if this went through. I will not actually put it through. You know, I don't have that much money in this account. So let's go ahead and have half a BNB. Uh, you go ahead and place bid, you're given one more choice, read through all the things, is it a right NTF, is it a right amount of money, and place bid. That Your wallet should pop up and you'll be given the chance to confirm it. That should be it. Uh, go ahead and confirm it. I will reject it in my case. Now what happens at this point is the amount of money that you bid will be stored in the contract. So that's half a BNB in this case. When the time is up, uh, the contract will, will get, take the highest bidder. 
If it's me, they will take my money and give me the NTF. If it's not me, they'll return my money to me. So that's how the system works. If you find something on here and you want to bid on, have at it. I'm not seeing anything, anything great, certainly down at the cheap end of the table. But with that said, let's go ahead and create an NTF. So let's add more junk onto this pile that is already here. You can create a collection or mint a standalone NTF. Now let's go ahead and do a standalone one. Now I don't have an artistic bone in my body, so I just made an image in paint and you just need to drag it onto this area like this and it should pop up here any moment. It says do not buy this NTF. Now this is part joke and part warning. A lot of people with bigger platforms than me will be creating NTFs and offering them for sale. I recommend you ask yourself, how long did it take them to make and how much is their time worth? Now I'm a busy guy, so I value my time at say 40 euro an hour. Now this NTF took me five minutes to make. Now at 40 euro an hour, that will cost me uh, three euro and 20 cent to make. Now some NTF artworks you will see here will be made by very talented people whose time is worth a lot more than me and who spend hundreds of hours on their artwork. So sure, you can justify high prices, but from a random YouTuber that spent five minutes making something or even copying and pasting something, don't spend more than a few euros on their NTF. Anyway, let's finish making this. Uh, for the name, let's go ahead with the same, do not buy this NTF. Then description, how about seriously, it's not worth it. Then as the external link, I might as well go ahead and shill my YouTube channel. So I'll put the link for that in there. Next up, we have collection. Now I believe if you had created your own collection, you'd see a drop down here of the di different collections you create. But for now, you, we, everyone would be as standard available to go into the community collection. Next up, we have royalty. This is if I do sell this NTF and then the next person goes ahead and sells it again, I would still be entitled to some of their money, depending on what number I put in here. Let's go ahead and put 15% in. Next, we have the type, which is just an image. Uh, then the category, which I guess would be simply a meme. And that's it. We can go ahead. I think we're finished here. We go ahead and mint this NTF. It gives a um, confirmation for the money I need to spend. This works out, I, I believe about 50 cent. This is in BNB, this number. So let's go ahead and spend that 50 cent. Now I edited out the wait time, but I had to wait probably 10 seconds there just for, the, for that block to be mined, I guess. Now what's next? We get to choose the sale type, a fixed price or an auction. Let's go ahead for an auction, a minimum bid. Let's go ahead with zero. Ah, this is in BNB. So in BNB, let's go with 0 0.001 maybe. Yeah, about 27 cent. Uh, how long will the auction last? Oh, you can do really short or the longest is 24 hours. Let's stick with 24 hours and we'll go ahead and list this for sale. At this point now I have to pay again, it would seem. This would work out as about five or six cent. So this is uh, quite a lot cheaper than the, the minting of the NTF itself. Okay, I'm guessing this will take another about 10 seconds to be complete. I edited out the gap, but it took about 10 seconds. It said approving and it gave me another a another confirmation so i have to spend more money again this will be about uh, 30 cent it looks like let's go ahead and confirm that and once again we'll probably need to wait the 10 seconds or so and it looks like it is complete our ntf is listed for 0 0.01 bnb and here it is here how i believe it will be seen by other people now, if we go back to the browse page, I've sorted by newest. And in fact, here we go. We can see it right here. If you create an NTF, this took about 10, 15 seconds to show up. So it was all quite easy and um, 
and well done to be honest uh, although the quality of stuff you see here isn't exactly great here is the i i wonder if this is the real one uh, the one we've seen from the previous page there's some interesting stuff here i must admit i'm not as if you do not sort by cheapest i guess you do see better <laughs> objects okay i'll leave that up to you guys for now a few final words though whether you like NTFs or not, uh, they are probably going to be big news for the next while. Binance will be adding a centralized NTF marketplace any day now. And with the millions of users they have, it will likely bring many buyers and sellers to the space. If you want to sign up to Binance for this upcoming launch, I have an affiliate link in the description below that will get you the maximum 20% off your fees. Now, even if you don't use my code, use someone's as it's silly to pay more fees than you need to. That's all from me. Thanks for watching and have a great day.